story is called Super SpongeBob and the Tsunami by students at PS69. Once upon a time, there was a sponge named SpongeBob. You might have heard of another sponge by that name, but this was a completely different SpongeBob who was a doppelganger, which is a fancy word for a look-alike to the SpongeBob you might already know. Bob is a very common name in the ocean after all, and many sponges look alike. Bob was a scientist and a really good guy. He was working on making himself super absorbent so he could soak up even more water. The only downside was that when he soaked up a bunch of water, he grew huge! SpongeBob had a friend at the science lab named Patrick who also had been working on giving himself superpowers. Patrick's superpowers enabled him to control water. Unfortunately, he didn't always use his powers for good. Dun, dun, dun! One day, Bob got super dirty at work and decided to borrow some of Patrick's clothes because he only owned one set of clothing. He didn't ask Patrick first, and Patrick didn't find out until he saw Bob in them later. Patrick was angry. Patrick was so angry, in fact, that his superpowers started kicking in and the water from the ocean started to build and build and build and formed a giant wave. The wave got so big that it turned into a tsunami and went straight for a city that was on the beach. All of the houses and businesses started to get swept away. Oh, no! Bob rushed to the scene and started to suck up all the water with his sponge powers. But there was too much water because Patrick kept using his powers to bring in more and more and more. He continued to suck up more and more water and got bigger and bigger and bigger until he got so big that he finally exploded. All of the water came rushing back into the city. <laughs> said Patrick. I have won. Your powers are no match for mine. <laughs> Bob was fine, but he realized that to stop Patrick, he would need a new strategy. Suddenly, he had an idea. <laughs> He sucked up all the water around Patrick, so he got dried out and couldn't control any more water. In the process, he grew really big again, but he stopped before he exploded. Then Bob used his giant steps to bring Patrick far away into the desert, where he would be too far away from water to cause any more damage with it. Even though he stopped Patrick from bringing more water into the city, there was still flooding everywhere.
He called all of his spongy friends, and they all came to the city to suck all the water out of it and take it back to the ocean where it belonged. With the help of the super scientist SpongeBob, the town created super robots to fix all of the damage to the city. Then, the super robots constructed a big wall to make sure that the city was protected from tsunamis in the future. Everyone lived happily ever after. Even Patrick, who learned how to use his powers for good in the desert by collecting water from deep underground, from clouds, and from the dewdrops for everyone that was thirsty.